listening to the Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. We have a great story to share with you today about uh, wonderful students here in St. Louis participating in a program that actually is nationwide, and we can't wait to share that story with you. Thanks to Concordia University, Wisconsin, for supporting the Coffee Hour. Find out more about Concordia University, Wisconsin at cuw.edu. Live Uncommon. Joining me in the studio today, students and faculty from... Lutheran South High School, right here in St. Louis. And joining me today, we'll go around the room. Starting on the left here, we have Noah. Good morning, Noah. Good morning. Thanks for joining me today. Noah, Are you? what year are you at Lutheran South? I'm a senior this year. Well, congratulations. How many days left? Oof. Was it 26, 27? Less than 30 school days left. All right. And we have, is it Maggie? Is that right? Maggie, welcome. Glad to have you this morning. It's also a senior. Yes. Congratulations. And Anna joining us this morning. Good morning, Anna. Good morning. And also a senior as well, right? Well, congratulations to all the seniors. And we also have Mr. Jonathan Butterfield, Principal, Lutheran High South. Also a senior? Yeah, in my own right. Good morning. <laughs> Congratulations on uh, this outstanding group of students that you brought to the International Center who are serving in a wonderful capacity with our friends from Phil's Friends and uh, serving in a wonderful service project. So tell us a little bit about what I know you guys just went through orientation just a little bit ago about the project. What have you learned about Phil's, friend in, Phil's Friends in like the 10 minutes that you got to learn about it? Okay, so Phil was a man who had cancer and it kind of took over his life and he struggled with his motivation through it. And then he ended up receiving cards in the mail and care packages and a lot of Bible verses. And through that strength, he was able to remain positive in his experience. And now that he is uh, cancer-free, he has set up a foundation where they will uh, make cards for people all over the country and care packages for anybody uh, who does have cancer that they will receive the gifts anonymously. So we stole you guys away from the project for a little bit so we could talk about uh, service learning or service projects. So have you been able to participate in other service projects similar to this throughout your time at Lutheran South? Now, I know the last couple of years have been kind of challenging virtual learning and all those things that that have complicated the last couple of years. But have you had opportunities to serve others as part of your your educational experience? We'll start over here with Noah. Oh, absolutely. Uh, a big one um, at Lutheran South coming up this week even is special. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Where we help serve those with in special education, participate in sports outside. And, and that, that's that been a real blessing to me, at least. And I, I hope we've been a blessing to them. So is there a particular event that you'll be helping with, Noah? I'm not quite sure yet, but I'll hopefully figure that out soon. Have you been involved with, have you got to help with Special Olympics before? Absolutely. What was your favorite part of it? Oh, well, well when I did it, it, it was with a uh, Bochi ball and uh, that, that was my favorite. Other service learning projects or even that one that you all got to participate in, Maggie? Yeah. So a big thing that we've been doing this year is we've had a lot of um, drives and we've done a lot of collections. So we did one for Thanksgiving and we partnered with a couple of our service-based clubs at school. And then we partnered with a couple groups at the seminary and with CFNA to collect food for families in need. And then we also did one with a pregnancy center to collect goods. And we raised money for new mothers who may be in need. And we're also, I think, planning another uh, food drive. And so we definitely are making a lot uh, to happen to bring everyone together, if they can bring things or help support us all together. You mentioned CFNA. For those of us here in St. Louis, we're we're so connected to CFNA. It's it's just become a part of our language. But what have you learned about CFNA through your involvement in in volunteering with them? Yeah, so CFNA stands for Christian Friends of New Americans, and it is a great outreach program for new Americans, especially new uh, members of St. Louis. Especially, we found with a lot of the refugees from Afghanistan this past fall, we really had a connection with them in making you know cars and things for them as they came. Very good. Anna, how about you? What are other ways that uh, it could be either any of these projects or, or other ways that you've been able to learn through serving? I really enjoyed volunteering at Special Olympics. We hold two a year and it's required that you serve at one, but I've always volunteered at both. I like to be able to spend the day with an athlete as a buddy and just get to spend time with them one on one and just get to walk with them through their victories throughout the day. It's really powerful to me. So you got to be a buddy with an athlete yes. throughout the whole time. So you got to see that. Did they participate in multiple events? Yes. Well, at the one, it's the bocce ball. And then this is track and field coming up. I don't exactly remember how the events work, but we just go with them throughout the whole day through the Olympic Village and everything like that. Mm-hmm. 
What is something that you learn through that that you've learned in your involvement in uh, something like Special Olympics that you walk away with at the end of the day, or maybe it's a couple of weeks later when you're reflecting on it? I've learned just how powerful, even in one day of service, that we as the students at South can be for these people. They get so excited when they succeed in the events and competitions and just to be with them and know that we're making an impact on their day and how it's going for them. That's just been really powerful to me. So you're all seniors thinking about probably a lot about that next chapter in life, what comes next. How do you think, how do you anticipate the, the ways that you've been involved in, in service projects or service learning? How do you anticipate that being a part of your life after Lutheran South? How do you see it impacting your life after this? No, you're nodding your head over here. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I, I certainly don't expect service to end. Mm-hmm. I, I don't expect um, it to go dormant. I, I plan to be involved in service for the rest of my life at church and things like that. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Maggie, anything you want to add to that? How has service learning shaped you and, and will be a part of the next chapter of life? Yeah, of course. So I think something that Lutheran South um, has taught us is that it's very simple to find a way to serve. And I think it's not something that's hard to do to find the um, place to do so. And so I'm always, you know, looking for ways to help other people. And I think that bringing us up in this education where we do have a lot of opportunities to serve has always kind of given me that eye of looking like, what more can I do or who else could I help? Because something that may seem, you know, really easy for us to do can really change somebody's day or even change their life. Mm -hmm. And how about you? How do you think this will make a difference for the next chapter in life? Well, through Lutheran South, we don't require service hours, but we're inspired to serve. And I think that that model really helps me because it's easier to do something when I'm not forced to do it. I'm more willing to do something when it's from my own heart and from my own mind. So I think that that attitude will just Mm -hmm. continue with me as I go forward. And hopefully, hopefully I will find lots of different ways to serve in college and even after that. Mr. Butterfield. I'm, I'm sure you're pretty proud hearing the students speak <laughs> today. Sure, I wish I could claim my own kids. I think. <laughs> so, from your perspective, as you know, as an administrator, how do you see service learning or service projects like this being a part of education at Lutheran South? Yeah, Anna hit the nail on the head. We we did make that shift from from requiring to inspiring. You know, we want our kids to understand the purpose for which they've been made and really cultivate that heart of wanting to serve because they understand that's that's God's plan for them versus doing things because they have to do them. And it's a lot harder, I have to tell you. It's like being a parent, right? I mean, I, 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 I got to show uh, my kids uh, an example. I got to give them opportunities. You know, I have to encourage them. And it's more difficult, but it's I think it's the right way to do it. And and these three are great examples of, of how that's worked, even through the pandemic, right? And so when they leave here, hopefully that's the kind of heart that they have. And maybe they found one thing that they just love to do throughout their lives now, and they'll continue to do it. You, you all have mentioned we, we've all talked about the pandemic certainly impacting ways that that students meet together, students get to serve and and, and learn. It certainly presented its challenges. What are some ways that, that that you hope students will continue to get to serve? We talked about Special Olympics today. Do you see other opportunities for students to get to serve, whether it's within Lutheran South community or or beyond? You know, part of our model, too, is for adults to invite kids to serve with them, and, and they're always so willing to do it. That's why these guys are here today. You tell them it's an opportunity, and they, they jump at it. And, you know, so they're going to continue to do things maybe they found interest in. Maybe they are, they're an athlete, and they want to do Special Olympics, or, or maybe they have a, their niche is to go feed the homeless or whatever it is, but also then to invite others and, and uh, encourage others in that kind of behavior, I think, is one of the most important things that we can do. And you know, I mean, when we serve, it, it feels good and because that's how God wired us, right? And so we want them to experience that joy and then share that joy with others. How is serving a part of what you do every day, students at Lutheran South? Do, you know, we, we talked about these special service projects. Are there other ways throughout your day, throughout your week that you're serving maybe just your fellow students at Lutheran South? Yeah, I think definitely as upperclassmen, we've taken on a leadership role, whether that's expected of us or whether we just, you know, decide to do it. And I think if nothing more than just being a kind face to new new freshmen or being helpful to our teachers. Um, we're all also Kairos leaders and something that at our school is Kairos, which is small groups um, and we lead de- devotions and we've all taken an initiative to be those Kairos leaders and to be a, a role model in our faith, not only, you know, in our school as well. And I, I think that we've, all three of us have really just enjoyed serving and so we make it a part of our day to do so. 
could you imagine what your education would be like if you didn't have those opportunities? What if that was an absent part of your education? You know, if that was missing, what what that would look like? I mean, I think it'd be kind of boring. We didn't have those opportunities, and we all like serving. So if it's taken away from us, you know, mm-hmm. it kind of affects us as well. Yeah. How do you think it it, it strengthens you as a student, giving you these hands-on opportunities to serve. Do you think that that supports your your academic goals as well? Gives you opportunities to to put into practice what you're learning in the classroom? You're nodding your head, Anna. <laughs> yes, for sure. I think that serving really allows you to see other people whose situations are different from yours and to just learn from them. And it just puts you in a different mindset because you see where you are in the world and how you can help others. And it just really motivates you to continue to do the best that you can to help others throughout all that you're doing. Like in academics, working hard, if you see someone who needs help, you can help them because you know that it's going to make a difference for them in their life. Even if it's just for one test or one paper that they need some help with, serving really makes a real difference and it will definitely make their day. All right. We have just about a half a minute left. You all want to give a shout out to anybody today, maybe the teachers that you're missing because you're out missing a class today. The class that I'm missing, it's my teacher's birthday today. Oh, (laughs) Happy belated birthday. Anybody else? Anybody else want to give a shout out today? Hi, mom and dad. (laughs) All right. Shout out, Noah. Uh, Hello. (laughs) Thank you, Pastor Knippa. (laughs) Very good. Mr. Rutterfield, how can we learn more about Lutheran South and ways that students learn at Lutheran? Visit our website for sure, lslancers.org. But if you're in the area, stop by and visit. We'd love to visit and, and show you and have you meet some of these kids. Just awesome kids. Very good. Well, thank you, students. Thank you, Mr. Rutterfield, for being a part of the coffee hour. And thanks for your service with Phil's friends today here at the LCMS International Center. God's blessings on your remaining days as seniors at Lutheran South High School here in St. Louis. You're listening to the coffee hour. I'm Andy Bates. Bates.